Good morning everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we will tackle something that is probably way too complicated for nothing. And it is how to add an animation track into the sequencer with Python. We have a lot of code to look at, so here we go. Because there is multiple steps, I split my code in two functions, but it is probably doable to split it even more. The first step is to add the actor inside the sequencer. We need to give it the path of the sequencer and the actor to use. Then it's simple, we only need to load the sequencer and add the possessable inside it. If the possessable is already present, it will only return it, so that's good. The next function is more complicated and has multiple steps. We need to pass it the animation's path and the possessable that will receive the animation. First, we load the animation, and to be able to give it to the sequencer, we need to add it inside the movie scene skeletal animation params. So we will create the structure and then set the animation parameter using our animation. Then we need to add a track to our possessable. The tracks class need to be a movie scene skeletal animation track. Finally, we need to add a new section to that track and set the animation by setting the params using the structure we just created. Last thing, we need to set the section's range using the length of our animation. Voila, we can now test this. Here, I have my sequencer's path, my animation's path, and a function to get the first skeletal mesh inside the world. In my case, I only have one, so it will be good enough. Then I'm calling my first function to add the actor inside my sequencer. And finally, my second function adds the animation. Let's see what happens. Um, okay, nothing changed. But wait, if the sequencer was already open, we need to close it and reopen it to refresh it. Or if you have any better idea to make it refresh, please let me know. Voila, that's it for today. I hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.